Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today from our friends at Stampendous, I have got this great collection. These are pop shaped cutting dies and the coordinating stamps to go with them. This is a really clever collection because you have one set of cutting dies and then you can choose your favorite stamp sets that, that automatically coordinate with this one set. And some of the shapes do double duty. So let me first start off by showing you the dies on the back here. Um, they are like this little cluster one right here. This works for clusters of flowers, but also a cupcake top or a scoop of, scoops of ice cream. So um, they're just really clever how they combined the art with the dies. So let's see, let's start off by showing you a card. Here's one I made with just a single pop-up. It comes with the die for the pop-up mechanism. So we've got the little cupcake right here, okay? Um, and this one is called, of course, the cupcake set. And we've got the cupcake, and then I used a little X-Acto knife right there to just slide in the little candle. So we've got coordinating dies for all of these pieces. Um, we've also got on the cupcake set the little greetings and the little sprinkles and things like that, the flowers. Um, and then when you look on the front, I've used the same, um, well actually I used the same dies here. So I use these for scoops of ice cream, okay? And also the little flower pot I used for the little cone. And then I added some little jellyfish sparklets for the cute little sprinkles on top and the paper pack that I used was the dotted duos number two because it's got these great pinks also um, cardstock that went with this uh, gosh it was the coordinating cardstock pack for gingham gingham number two I was just drawing a blank there and I used the oval dies right here for my card front so let me show you before I go any further how you make the pop-up mechanism. Okay, so we've got the die set, we've got the uh, sunflowers, the hydrangeas, and the little rose teacup. But for the mechanism, for the pop-up, that's this piece right here. There we go. And on the back of the die set, it gives you all the little instructions on how to do this. And it suggests that you start with a five and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece of cardstock. And then it also suggests, instead of folding this clear in half and having a crease, okay, that you just do a little bit of a pinch fold right here and a little bit of a pinch fold right there. And here's why. It marks where you're going to be placing your die. Okay, this little piece right here goes on the fold, but it's not going to put a fold on this part, part of the mechanism. And I'll show you what they mean in a moment. So this one right here, if I have this little part, this little square facing down, okay, and these are the little parts I put right here on the imaginary fold that goes all the way across. Then I'm gonna get this, okay? So that is looking just like that. So that when you do your magic folding like this, this becomes the place that you're going to glue your little goodies on, okay? However, if you take this and put it like this with the little square at the top, you're going to get an entirely different look. Here's your square at the top. Now you've got this tall one, so you can see. So you can have one that juts out pretty far, or you can have one that's really tall. And the other reason we're not folding this all the way across while we die cut it is because now I don't have a fold on this thing right here. See, if I had gone ahead and creased this, then I would have had a fold right in the middle of this mechanism. And it would still work. It would just maybe cause a little bit of an issue when you're shutting your card. So first thing you do is align your die right there and then run it through your die cutting machine. This can fit, of course, in any size format, six and a half, six inch wide or wider. Okay, and then once you get that done, it's die cut just like this. Now you're going to just take it. And what I found is if I just push this forward, 
then I could just go ahead and fold it back. And as long as there's nothing in that window, it's gonna fold automatically. So there you have the base for that, okay? Let's look at some more cards. Here's one that my friend Debbie made. This is a sneak peek on a new paper pack that we have coming out called Sweet Pea. It is made with, the papers are actually cardstock, so we are calling them printed cardstock. And then we have regular cardstock that even has some bon bonus patterns in it. So be looking for that uh, the first week in April. Um, so let's look at this. She used the rose and teacup set. So cute. She used the long stem roses. She used the vase from the die cutting set. And she also did some embellishing here around this with these cute lime jewel border dazzle stickers. Just peel those right off like this. Oops. <laughs> like that. And then you can place them all the way around the card edge. She used a little bit of foam tape to pop up her little greetings. And on the inside, wow, look at that. She used the cutting die in two different ways here. So if you look at it like this, you can see the mechanism that I just showed you to do. And she used the, just the die here, cutting that out of patterned paper and then stamping that. And then here she used the stamp and the patterned paper. Really, really cute also used her jewel border dazzles in there as well. Next we have got, this is another great one that Debbie made, um, really really cute with little Easter bunnies here with love and then you open that bang and what she did here was she used one that is the long one and then she mixed that with one that was tall. So you can kind of stagger those too which I love. For this one, Debbie used the Gingham number no. two um, six by six papers, which gives you this adorable little tiny print and then the larger print. She also used some purple jewel border dazzle stickers right there on those little strips. Okay, so cute. I love how she used the stamp here for her little bunny, but then she also just used the die to make little silhouettes. And on the front for her greeting, she used this um, eight labels for your greetings cutting dies, which are great little plaque there to put. And she also used these um, script greeting dazzles. There's a whole collection of them here in all kinds of different finish finishes, white, black, silver, and gold. And she used the silver ones to put with love on there. Very cute. So yeah, she used this day a little die set with the hydrangeas, or the stamp set. Very cute, love that card. So this last one, I'm gonna show you how to put one of these together. So I've got my sunflower set right here. I started off with my blank card. This is six and a half by five inches, all right? And I covered the front using, oops, this is wood and textures paper pack, and it's got all these different woods and metals and rusty metal, um, and I just use this great wood. Okay, cut it a little bit smaller than my card, and then I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the um, inside of the card first, and then I'll finish the outside. So I've gone ahead and cut my paper here using both of the directions for the dies my pop-ups, and then I've got my Specialist Acrylic Glue Cosmic Shimmer. I found it was handy just to take a little bit of the glue and just put it right on that fold, and then kind of around the mechanism. Everything would stay in place that way. Just dots here and there. All right, and then just glue this directly into the fold on the inside of the card. And then I just, closed it. So as long as those um, folds are lined up in there, everything worked out great. Okay, so that's where I started. Now I have already stamped and colored. There we go, my little pieces. So I am using paper pack, this really cute red gingham. This is from gingham number one paper pack. It's got this adorable red. 
And I'm also using the borders. These are the slim line borders from Hot Off The Press. I'm using the scallop one right here. And then I just put a little, uh, I die cut that from white cardstock and then just did a little blue inking along the edge of that scallop. I'm just gonna glue this right across the bottom edge. Now because this little mechanism on the inside, this insert is five and a quarter by eight and a quarter, gives you room to play around the edges here. All right, so here is my border with the inked edge. And a little bit of glue there. And I just aligned that with the top of my little red gingham stripe, strip rather. Right. And this along the top edge too. All right, so now I've got, this is my little stamped water container, and I just used some Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend tri markers for this, and I used just sort of a little aqua blue and then a green on there. I'm gonna put this right here on this tall part of the vase, but then I've also got my little collection here of sunflowers. And I colored those with the Spectrum Noir. And if you look below the video in the product used, there's a drop down menu and you'll see every single item that I used here. Um, put a little foam tape on the back of that. And you'll notice here, this is the cupcake topper. Let me go back to this. First of all, I used this same shape for the ice cream scoop. And I also used it for the cupcake. And now I'm using it for the sunflowers. I'm gonna attach a little foam tape right there to my little jar of water. And I'm just going to glue that right on there. Now when deciding what to put here, I wanna make sure that the thing I glue here isn't going to be interfering with this as it opens and closes. So, decided to put my little stamped greeting, wishing you a sunny day. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, I and mean, I like to just close it, make sure everything's adhered, make sure nothing is getting in the way. Now I've got my cute little embellishments. I'm gonna put that one right up here, my little stamped sunflowers. I can put them here. And I've got some here too that have foam tape on them. I can glue one down. Oh, on this one, I cut out around the white edge and I'm gonna actually foam tape that here so that it stands out a little bit, a little bit of dimension on the bouquet. Oops, you can just kind of lay those here. I've got my little leaf tuck in right there. It's all kind of coming together. I've got my little bird here. Also put a little piece of foam tape on the bird. And I'm gonna attach that right to the corner of my little vase. And I've also got a cute little ladybug. Thought that would be cute just to put right on the top edge of the greeting. Okay, and now I have all these great butterflies. Okay, I colored those with some green and blue. And so I'm gonna put some up here. Oops, got our little foam tape on the back of all of these. At this point, I like to find areas where I need to fill in a little space, just like that. All right, what are we doing here? Could put one right there, no. It's okay, we'll put that one right there. All right, so that's the inside of my card. So when I close this, bam, that's my presentation. 
somebody's opening that. And now for my card front, I've got some more of my little gingham paper, and then I matted that with white and the same blue cardstock I used here. I added a little four inch square doily. Then I used, instead of my vase with water in it, I used the little terracotta pot, which is also the dye I use for making an ice cream cone. And I inked the edges of that black and brown, wanted to make it a little more terracotta. And I glued that there, glued the same little cluster of flowers, went ahead and put my cute little bug there, and my same bird colored it in the same way, and I've got my little birthday greeting. Okay. And I'm just going to put that right there on the center. All right, so there you go. I think that'll make a really nice festive birthday card. So you guys, we have got a great money saver on this collection of stamps and the dies. Um, I think they work great together. They're really, really versatile, which I love. I love it when a product does more than one thing, and that's true with this for sure. So if you're watching us on our vlog page at Paper Wishes, you would just look across to the right-hand side of the screen, and you'll see the photo and the link for the Money Saver. We've got a gallery directly below the video with color photos of all of these, and if you click on the photo, you'll see the supply list. Under that, we've got our drop-down products used where you'll see all the individual products used and you can click on those to take you to the product page on Paper Wishes. If you're watching us in YouTube, I'm including a link in the description box below the video so you can click on that and it'll take you to everything I just described. And if you like our video, consider giving us a thumbs up. It really helps people find our channel. And subscribe because we do three to five videos a week and if you don't, you might miss something. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.